Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 3 to the power of root t, and this equals 9 to the power of t. We are solving for all the values of t that will satisfy this equation. That means the value of t that will make this left hand side to be the same as the right hand side of this equation. So that's what we are looking for. It might be 1, it might be other values. So let's find out. Now, I can have my 3 raised to the power of square root of t. And this equals 9. It's a perfect square. So I can have 9 equals 3 to the power of 2. So I'm going to replace this 9 here with 3 power 2. I have 3 to the power of 2. And this is raised to the power of t. Now, if you consider this identity, if you have a raised to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. I apply this identity right here. So what I'm going to have will be 3 to the power of this is square root of t. And this equals 3 to the power of 2 times t. That is 2t. Now consider this. If you have a power b, and this equals a power c. Considering the fact that the bases are the same, you can as well compare the exponents. That means b equals c. Applying this identity right here means we are going to compare these exponents. So we are simply going to have square root of t equals 2t. And we have this radical here. So for us to eliminate the square root, we take the squares of both part of this equation. Now what will happen here is that the square root here, eliminate the square here. So I have t. And this equals, for this, what I'm going to do will be to consider this identity. If you have a times b, raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. I apply this identity right here, so I'm going to have 2 to the power of 2 times t to the power of 2. So right now, I have t, and this equals 2 to the power of 2 is 4 times t power 2. So I have my t equals 4 times t power 2. This is 4t squared. So the next step will be for me to take this t over here, it becomes negative t. I have 4t squared minus t equals 0. Now, we can solve this. In fact, there are two methods of solving this. I can solve this also by another method. Let this be method 1. I'm going to solve this using two different methods. So, in this first method, what we are going to do is I can decide to factor out t. I have t here. 4t squared divided by t, this will give me 4t minus t divided by this t here. And I have 1. And this equals 0. So at this particular point, I can equate this t equals 0 and also have 4t minus 1 equals 0. This is solved already, so let's solve this. I'm going to move this negative 1 over here. It becomes positive 1. I have 4t equals 1. Solving for t simply means isolating this t. So I divide this by 4. I divide this by 4. 4 eliminates 4. So what I have left here is t equals 1 over 4. So this is t1. This is t2. Now, that's just the first method. Let's get back to this. If I have this right now, this is t equals 4t power 2. What I can do as well will be to divide each part of this equation by t. This is the second method. I divide this by t. I divide this by t. t cancel t. I have 1 equals this is t squared. This is to the power of 1. 
Now, if you have a power n divided by a power m equals a power n minus n. So applying this identity here, I'm going to have 40 power 2 minus 1 because this is to the power of 1, this is to the power of 2, basis are the same, we subtract the exponents. So from here, I have 1 equals, this is 40, because 2 minus 1 is 1. Now solving for t, I need to isolate this t. So let me rearrange this. I can have 40 equals 1. I divide this by 4. I divide this by 4. So right now, what I'm going to have is 4 eliminates 4. I have t equals 1 over 4. So, this is 1 over 4 here. So, this is 1 over 4 as well. And this is 1 over 4. 1 over 4 and 1 over 4. But it's just that this second method, we are having only one solution. But in the first method, we had two different solutions. So, that is just it. The next step we are going to do will be to check for all the full solutions. So, we have t equals 0 and t equals 1 over 4. So if you consider t equals 0, you have 3 power square root of 0 equals 9 power 0. We are just substituting this value for t. You have 3 power square root of 0 is 0 equals 9 power 0. Let me have it here again. Now 3 power 0 is 1 because 9 power 0 is 1. So you should know that any number, exception of 0, raised to the power of 0 is 1. This is the only exception. That means 0 power 0 is not 1. Now let's consider when t equals 1 over 4. I have 3 power this is square root of t equals 9 power t. So let's consider 1 over 4. I have 3 power square root of 1 over 4 equals 9 power 1 over 4. Are they the same? We are going to find them. Now if you have square root of a divided by b, this is called square root of a divided by square root of b. We apply that here. So I'm simply going to have 3 power, this is square root of 1, divided by square root of 4, equals 9 power 1 over 4. So right now, I have 3 power square root of 1 is 1 divided by square root of 4 is 2. And this equals 9 power 1 over 4. Now, let's consider the fact that 9 is a perfect square. 9 equals 3 power 2. So I'm simply going to have 3 power 1 over 2 equals, this is 3 power 2, raised to the power of 1 over 4. Right now, remember, if you have a power n, raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. I multiply this out. So I'm going to have 3 power 1 over 2 equals 3 power 2 times 1. This is 2 over 4. So from here, I have 3 power 1 over 2 equals 3 power so cancel this at once, cancel this, we have 2, this is 1 over 2. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1, which equals the n root of a. So applying that here and here, you have the square root of 3. Because, remember, square root will take care of this and this. And this equals, this is 3 power of 1, and this equals the square root of 3 power 1 as well. So 3 power 1 is 3, so we have square root of 3 equals square root of 3. Left hand side equals right hand side. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.